Hey everyone, this is Heather again and this is going to be a video on how to day trade or how to do intraday trading with crypto and uh, with TradeX tools. So we have the uh, BTC crypto dashboard open right in front of us. In the last video, uh, we went over how to use TradeX, uh, let's say, dashboard to do swing trading for crypto. We discussed a few technical uh, indicators. We discussed a few support and resistance tips and tricks, anchored VWAP tips and tricks. So we are uh, now going to talk about how to actually day trade uh, these cryptocurrencies. So we are going to start with the Bitcoin since again, this is the most famous cryptocurrency and we are going to say how we can day trade it. So we have the daily data open. So we use daily data for swing trading. Uh, so what we want to do for day trading is we want to use a, a smaller granularity data you can do that by going over this intraday data you can see there are all kinds of different granularities that you can use let's use the 15 minute because that usually works quite well for intraday trading we are going to click on the 15 minute and now we can see that the 15 minute data has appeared so one thing that i'm going to do here is just looking at the chart, we can see that the the price action is not really respecting the 50 and 20 moving average properly. So let's see if we can change the smaller to 50 and the larger to let's say 200. We are just trying to find the, the optimal averages that we can use to uh, find out good uh, support and resistance levels. 200 does not seem to be 200 did not look well so yeah this seems okay so we can see that here the, the moving average is turned and we actually went up from here so we're going to discuss just a few tips and tricks that you can use to intra to day trade these so the first is going to be the moving average crossover so whenever two moving averages be it 20 or 50 be it 50 or 100 be it 50 or 200 Whenever they are facing downward, then that means we are in a downtrend. And whenever they're facing upward, that means that we are in an uptrend. Uh, a good, a really good entry point is, let's say you want to go bullish on cryptocurrency because a lot of people want to go bullish. Uh, and the, pri the price is going down and the moving averages are facing downwards, as we can see here. So they are going down, but uh, then the price goes up and we have a crossover between the moving averages. So that is usually a really good entry point right here so if you enter right right here since the moving average is just crossed over that is going to give you a really good entry point we we also call this a golden cross between two moving averages so that's just one way of finding a finding an entry point this was it if we entered here then let's see we entered about uh, at about 54k and we went to a high of 58k so may 1 so in just one day we had about uh, four to five k profits which is again that that's huge like we just followed a very simple pattern and that worked really well obviously this won't always work but technical analysis as i've said in my other video is slightly easier to do with crypto let's see if we can do something else one thing that we can do here is if you are aware of support and distance levels then you know that this level or this small region is actually acting as a support region right this this region and you can see that the price is just not going above it this level is about 58k so 58k level is a really good resistance level so what we can do is whenever we break this level with some volume so we can see that we had a support level we had a resistance level here right you can see that we broke it with some volume so you can see the volume increased here so we can also enter on breakout so the first uh, pattern was just a moving average crossover the second would be entering on breakouts because there are all kinds of breakouts in these cryptocurrencies this was one where we had a resistance level we crossed it and then there was some volume so we crossed it with some volume that means there was enough bullish pressure there to sort of give us a good entry now let's say we go up now we went down and let's say from here we we break out of this resistance level and then there is plenty of volume so you can see that the volume was higher but the volume has dried a little bit now so let's say there is an uptick in volume we break out of this level that is going to be another entry so those are again two entries uh, other one would be you can see that this 
level act it as a support here then act it as a support here so the third time we come to this level we can uh, potentially know that this is going to be a support level and this actually worked like, like a really good support level as you can see here so you can enter there as well so this was a quick i think intraday trade for like a few a couple of hours from 56k to 58k now i'm drawing all these support and resistance lines myself so you always want to at least look at the chart to see what levels are there but you can also let's just remove all of these you can also use our algorithm that draws the support and resistance line for you so if you just click on it you can see that L look at this beautiful line that the algorithm drew you can see that this line was drawn by by the algorithm this one as well where the breakout happened so two of the best levels at the chart were actually drawn by the algorithm as well and we, you can see that we manually drew these as well so if you are a bit lazy and you don't want to draw all these levels yourself you can just click on this sr lines and this is going to draw all the support and resistance levels for you so those are like three where one one we did the moving average crossover thing then the next was the breakout then the third was falling on the support and then going up from there let's see if we have something else so i am going to go to the 15 minute chart again and i am going to try to change the VWAP period because this is another trick that some people use so what you are going to do is you want to always have the anchored VWAP from the lowest point of the day so this seems to be the lowest point of the day so let's try to change the period such that we can go there so let us see all right we are reaching there so 350 probably no probably 325 320 let's do 320 330 seems to be the bottom okay we are right at the bottom so if we anchor the VWAP from here then the volume weighted average price the price that bulls have paid that the average price that bulls have paid right from this point till this point is this orange line and what happens is when the let's say the average price of bulls is this orange line when the price starts to go below this then bulls want to get in charge again because they don't want the price to cross below this level because then they would go into loss since this is their average price the price that they are paying in the uptrend if the price goes below now now at, at this point they are breaking even but if the price goes low then they are going to be in loss and they do not want to be in loss which means they just come in again they buy and they sort of add this bullish pressure which is why these anchored VWAPs act as excellent like exceptional support levels as you can see here so this even for the very first time so if we are drawing these uh, horizontal levels then we need uh, to know that, that the price has hit that level once or twice before we can really draw that level but this anchored VWAP this just tells you about this level right away without even without ever sort of drawing these horizontal lines or without ever needing the price to touch that that the same point let's say once or twice so this is a really cool way of uh, knowing where the price is going to fall before it goes back up again so we have discussed four different things moving average crossovers uh, breaking out of a resistance then drawing these algorithmic or manual support lines to find out where the support might lie and then just uh, anchoring it from the very top or from the very bottom if you anchor it from the top then you are looking for resistance levels and that means you are short and you want to sort of see where the resistance level is and once once we hit the resistance level we might go back down if you are anchoring it from the lowest of the day then you are looking for potential support levels so that was a quick guide on how to day trade uh, BTC. Let's go to ETH. Let's see if we can find something here. Let's open the 15 minute chart and let's. So this is in a very beautiful uptrend. So there is nothing really here that we could have done. We can see that this line has been acting as a beautiful support, uh, trend line support here. So we could have just used it. So we know that we touched it here, here, here. So the third time we, we touch a line we are almost sure that this is a trend line so when we touch it here again we could have just entered so the entry was at 27 and now we are at 3000 so about 300 profit dollar profits in in about a day or two yeah again those are really good because this is ethereum so that would be one way let's see the lines that the algorithm draws for us so okay we have this line so we could have entered at one two three maybe these three points 
we could have entered here or we could have entered at the breakout here so you see the volume whenever you have these breakouts always look at the volume the volume here was very high which means that this is a good breakout and you can enter here right away the level was actually this so the, the algorithm is slightly off because it's looking at this one so this was the level and then we had a very similar level right below so when when we crossed it with very high volume this was going to be an other entry right here and then from let's see from 28.50 we are sitting at 3096 oh damn that's that's a lot of money that you would have made in a very short uh, amount of time ethereum is on a roll today then you can see we were talking about anchored vwap so if we anchor it from, uh, from from the lowest low of let's say this this time period then we can see that here and here it acted as a support level so you can just find any lowest low in, in the time period that you're looking at or in the in the frame of time that uh, the chart is open right now just draw the anchored view from the very lowest point and then you you'll see that the, these levels act as very good support and resistance levels so these were again some of the some of the ways you could have entered ethereum let's do one more dodge because there is a lot of hype about dodge these days so i think we we need to discuss it so here let's draw the support and resistance lines right away we can see that we have this level this one and probably this one as well so we could have entered here or here or we could have entered when we broke this level but this this seemed like an okay entry but not really a good one this was a really good entry let me just this right this point because there was a support level here we went down and then we had some huge volume here so right this candle this would have been an excellent entry we went from 0 0.25 let's see to about 0 0.33 so again 0 0.08 uh, dollar profit per share which is again huge we actually let's say went from 25 to 33 in a matter of minutes then again okay, we are following the moving averages so you are going to see that the 20 and 50 moving averages are acting at support supports here let's see here let's see here and now i think let's see here as well and finally we broke it so now we are in a consolidation phase let's do one more so let's actually anchor the vwap from here to see if we could have found the support levels but here this this is fine as well but let's do it from here because this is all a consolidation area we want to find a really good low of the day we either do it from here because this is the low but the, the distance between this point this is like two days ago three days ago probably no actually four days ago and this is uh, about one or two days ago so we don't want to go too far because then the line gets sort of flat we want to stay let's say especially when we are looking at intraday data we want to stay within one two days max so let's do it from here actually 222 probably all right 215 should work all right so we can see at this from this point in time we can see that this was a potential support level this 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 so there were four potential support levels we only broke one of those and the other ones we have pretty nicely respected and we are just touching those levels and then we are going back up again so the sixth one actually so again we we just discussed a few ways we could have entered here in the uptrend let's see if we have anything else if you are uh, again if you're a technical indicator trader you can see that rsi was about 20 here which always gives you a buy signal so you could have bought here as well so again we had a support level the rsi is let's say about 20 that provides you two that provides you two confidence factors that you can use to enter here and then you would have gone from 0 0.25 to about 0 0.37 which is again which is again great profit so this was a quick uh, introduction to day trading crypto using our Tradetix charts. We have tried to make these charts in a way that they give you everything that you need in order to become a really good day trader. Again, we are not a charting platform, so this is not the most comprehensive charting out there, but this does the job and there are, there are enough things here that you won't need to use uh, any other charting platform such as uh, TradingView or anything else. So. So that's it uh, for the video. I hope the both the swing trading video and the day trading video uh, 
these are going to be useful for you and you're going to use uh, these videos and the lessons from these videos to create and become profitable if you have any questions please leave them in the comments thank you so much for watching this goodbye